Have you been playing one of those silly clicker games knowing that if you could code a bot, you could beat any clicker game? Well, you can make one by opening the terminal and typing pip install py input. And then we're going to create a new Python file and we're going to import threading and from py input, import keyboard and mouse. And this will let us click, but also take input from the keyboard and import time. And now to control the mouse, mouse controller equals mouse dot controller and then clicking equals false. And now we need a function to check whether we should be clicking or not. So def on press key, global clicking. So we have access to that variable. Try if key dot char equals S, clicking is true. So if we hit S on our keyboard, and we set clicking to true lf key.char equals e then clicking equals false so if we hit e then stop clicking and in our accept pass we need this try and accept because if we hit a key that is an s or e then it will raise an error and stop the program now for the clicking we write def auto clicker while true if clicking which is short for if clicking is true then mouse controller dot click mouse dot button dot left and one which makes it click the left button on the mouse then time dot sleep 0.0001 one. Depending on what interval you put here, it determines the speed of how fast you click. And else, time.sleep 0.1. We need this so that we can check whether we should be clicking or not. And if not, then we just have an idle loop. Now we need something to listen for the keys. So def listen for keys with keyboard.listener on press equals on press as listener, listener.join. And now to put it all together, we need something called threading, which allows us to run two separate things at the same time. So we want one for checking whether we're clicking S or E and another for the actual clicking. So key listener thread equals threading.thread, target equals listen for keys, key listener thread dot daemon equals true, which basically lets this thread run in the background, key listener thread dot start, and finally auto clicker. And if you run the program, it should look something like this. So now on this clicking software, if I click S, then it starts clicking, and I'm going to wait for the CPS test to finish. And then I'll click E for it to stop. And now we can check our results. And we have 1,686.9 clicks per second.